the chief of Achim Afiasa, Otafrija Achiman Kwenin II, expressed worry over the destruction of the Ekruso, Jetibi, Okufu, Boshenso, Brim, and other river bodies, which has forced residents to rely on such water. He, however, criticized successive governments for failing to fulfill its responsibility to protect these vital national resources and the environment at large. He also called on corporate organizations operating within these communities to prioritize the development of social responsibility alongside their financial goals. <laughs> Before God and man, the mining activities have drastically changed our water bodies. When you go to your farm and need water, you wouldn't need to bring water with you to the farm because even the Birim River surrounds us. However, the mining activities have changed the turbidity level of the water making it undrinkable. Since 2010, our rivers have changed due to the destruction, which has affected us greatly. I can say that the government is partly to blame, both past and current, because they are looking the other way due to elections. Meanwhile, the police, immigration, customs, and even the fire service are patrolling, yet no one seems to be asking questions. Immigration for Bonsra, Custom Officer for Bonsra, and the fire service for Kra Bonsra. Now, be a new what you may be such a Juma woo ye. To me, Krata Ben and Man will ye Juman. Meanwhile, the International Precious Metals Bullion has handed over a 50 mechanized boreholes for the Afiasa and the neighboring communities. The founder of the International Precious Metal Bullion, John Vikings, also emphasized the importance of investing in people, which will ultimately benefit the business in the long run. People forget is we don't invest in business, we invest in people. If you don't invest in the people, there's no future. So this is why we're here today. We're doing the borehole project. We want everyone to be standing and strong before there's a chance to do business. Otherwise, it's not business. So we're here to invest in the people in the region. Um, we've, uh, we're bringing new technologies, uh, how to process gold, uh, with a bacterial method, so there's no chemicals involved in the process. Maxo Kudaka report for Joy News. Thank you.